Hi everybody, it's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flix Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Hilux, which I'm going to get any minute now, and all the improvements I've done to the Alucab Canopy Camper combination with my Hilux over the last two to three years. I've um, done a number of videos with regards to all the different modifications and my philosophy with regards to designing a camper, all the electricals, power stations, etc. And this is an update on all those mods and what I like, how, what sort of improvements I've made along the way, and uh, that might help you in your design of your four-wheel drive, your adventure vehicle, whether it be Outback Australia, whether it be urban weekend adventures or whatever. Let's get on with the video. Well, as you know, I do have my other adventure vehicle, which is the Toyota Land Cruiser Troop Carrier. And that's my, my go everywhere, impossible journeys, whatever, that's all done on the Troop Carrier, which is great. But I enjoyed the Hilux. I wanted to get the Hilux as well as my round town vehicle. This is, this is my go anywhere round town <laughs> and weekender. And my photographic vehicle, uh, camping vehicle, whatever yeah i'm actually planning a trip to tasmania to do some bushwalking with my wife later on this year around christmas time whatever somewhere around there this is the vehicles i'm going to be taking so all right well let's just quickly set this up is it uh do i need to move it forward a little bit i will move it forward a little bit there we go all right so here we are in my wonderful canopy camper and I've got my screen here I've got my oh, I've got the screen there that stops the wind from coming in but at least we've still got light I don't feel completely enclosed and uh, I can see what's going on outside and I've got a bit of privacy behind me so that was the reason for the screens that all gets packed up up here uh, underneath the bed the bed is here So you can still have someone in the bed, my wife in the bed, for example, as I'm making uh, the espresso, breakfast, cappuccino, whatever, in the morning. So that's the reason for the modular design. However, if there's no one in there, you can just put that up. And uh, you've got a bit more space, airspace. All right, so modular design means I've got uh, these kitchen units here for my everything that I need there got the heater going which is fantastic I've got all my lighting set up now which is also better um, let's talk about the power station actually that's been the biggest game changer when I set up the Hilux I put in a DC DC controller and I've got a lead acid auxiliary battery in the back here that uh, runs the fridge I can then charge that using my solar panels and I thought, well, that would be fine. But then a couple of years ago, I um, you know, did watch some videos and whatever, and people were talking about portable power stations. And so I thought, done some investigation, and I eventually bought one from iTech World, a, a smaller unit, a 500 watt unit, and uh, just to try it out. So it's a lithium iron power station, and um, yeah, so you can charge, charge it with solar panels. So I've got some flexible solar panels here. You can charge it also from your car as you're driving and also you can charge it using 240 volts. So that was my first exposure to a portable power station. I wanted to find out how useful that would be. And I found in my trips, it was great for charging uh, my camera batteries, also for uh, actually boiling up some water. So I've got a little 12 volt electric kettle here. It doesn't charge, it doesn't boil up water very quickly, but you can actually boil it up and it will maintain the temperature. It's like a, an urn, I suppose. And you can have two cups of coffee or tea. So that was great for that. And um, yeah, so, and the other thing is it was portable. So if I did set up a tent, then I could at least have the power in the tent or take the power wherever I needed it. Or if I wanted to charge it up, I could just between being portable again, I can just take it inside the house and charge it up. So that was my first exposure to a power station. They also call them solar generators now, so that's another term you might hear. 
Um, so that's how I became involved with iTech World actually, uh, and iTech World uh, and I have sort of created an affiliate program. And um, now what that means is that if you're looking for anything to do with uh, lithium power stations or solar generators, in fact iTech World also specialise in, in all the uh, power systems, lithium power systems you need to set up a, you know, a dedicated system within your camper or four-wheel drive so they've got everything there you can go to their website and you can see all the equipment and um, power stations solar blankets lithium batteries power systems for your camper or four-wheel drive um, or you know uninterruptible power supplies now for your home as well for critical devices that need to operate 24 hours and um, and have to operate even during power failures. So you've got a system that can cut in when there's a power failure. So that's all on iTech World. But being an affiliate, it means that um, my viewers, my subscribers to my channel can also get an additional discount. Now that's on top of all the promotions and bundle deals that iTech World do on their website. So if you go to the website, you'll see there's some special bundles happening right now as well for the solar generators and power stations. and uh, But if you use the Adventure 8 discount code, you get an extra 5% discount on top of all the other discounts that are running on the website right now. That's great. And if you, if you do find something that you need or want and you use the Adventure 8 discount code, you get that 5% discount, but you also help out my channel and it provides um, a bit of a bonus to the channel so that I can produce more content for you guys as well. So hopefully that will help you. Yeah, so the power stations. I've actually ended up getting three power stations from iTech World. I've got the 500p, which is my portable unit. Now, actually, I use in, one in uh, my holiday home. My holiday home has a gas hot water system, but if there's a power failure, then the gas won't be triggered and you can't actually have hot water. In those situations, I just connect up the power station to the gas unit, so there's electrical current there, and uh, then I can still have a hot shower even if there's a power failure. So that's one of the benefits of that small unit. But in my True P, my, I've got my the 1300P, so it's a large capacity, 1,300 watts capacity, and uh, I use that endlessly on my outback journeys and there's a lot of videos where I've used it for induction cooking outstanding that's changed cooking completely in uh, in camping so I don't use gas or metho burners or anything like that in my camper anymore I just use induction cooking it's a lot safer there's no smells uh, no carbon monoxide poisoning or anything like that and uh, and it's really quick so that's a game changer. And uh, then for the Hilux here, I've got the 2000 watt version of the power station solar generator, the PS2000. And it's this unit here that's the uninterruptible power supply as well. So besides being the ideal power station for my Hilux here, for induction cooking, for my espresso machine, for running the heater <laughs> and keeping, keeping my environment here nice and warm, uh, you can even run an electric blanket for your bed. Uh, it's so good. And yeah, so that's, that's a unit that I have here in, in the Hilux. All right, anyway, so that's the power station without a doubt has just made life so much more comfortable and so much more convenient for adventure travel, for camping, and then all the other benefits of having that portable power station. Uh, for domestic use, to run your fridge in the event of a power failure. Yeah. All right. So on with the show. Lighting is really important. Uh, and what I find with camping is that if the more lights you have, the the better the experience you have during the well, during the course of the evening. That's you know that's where you need the lights. So with the canopy camper, I've got lights everywhere, which is you know part of the Alu Cab canopy camper, which is great, and they can also be changed to red. Um, so that at night, if you don't want the bright white lights, you can just have red lights as well. 
So from a photography point of view, that helps. I'm not sure whether it affects any insects, but you know, I'll, I'll change that back to white. What are other things? Yeah, so I've got the water system happening. So I've got two 20 litre water cans. I've got extra jerry cans of diesel underneath this table. That gives me another 60 litres plus the 65 litre main tank. And that gives me a range of well over a thousand kilometres for the Hilux bin since it's really quite economical. Everything is modular. I've got these containers. I've got another three containers, two containers there, another one there. I've got the fridge there underneath the table here. So, and the, and the water, electric water tap as well. It's all modular. I can move everything around if necessary, but this seems to be the best scenario. The only last addition that I've added is some outside lights. What I did notice the other day is coming home, it was dark in this alleyway here. As long as I had the car lights on, I had lights, but since I turned the car off, there was no more lights. So I've added some outside lights. So I call them camping lights and uh, they can be left on all the time. That's all linked back to my fuse box here and then the switch inside the cabin of the car. If you're interested in the work, seeing how all this has been set up originally, uh, there's videos in that playlist. I haven't really changed anything. All I've done is just added extra little mods here and there, which I've talked about now. But the biggest game changer has been the power stations and the solar generator. That has made life much easier, much more comfortable, uh, nice and warm, get out of the elements, it's so good. Anyway, I hope you could take advantage of the iTech World discount code, Adventure 8, to get that extra 5% uh, off anything that iTech World have there on their website. Uh, if, you're, if you go into their shop or if you call them up on the phone, um, that, that discount code still works. Uh, so in person or on the phone or yeah, at the shop, online, use Adventure Aid discount code and that will give you an extra 5% off the purchases, anything on the iTech World website. Hope that helps you. Um, thanks again for watching. I welcome your comments to the video, mods that you've done to your camper, things that really worked. Have, are you using induction cooking? Are you using... Uh, power stations, solar generators in your camping environment, let me know. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That's how you support the video. Uh, if it's the first time to my channel, you haven't already subscribed, <laughs> do subscribe. Uh, that would be wonderful. Welcome your support. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.